Hey guys, it's Pierre Levy, music writer for the Milwaukee Journal Sentinel, tabmilwaukee.com. 21 Pilots playing a sold out show at the Eagles Ballroom tonight, one of the fastest sellouts in the venue's history. And this band literally bled for its audience. Uh, there's been this Twitter debate going on between the band members, uh, Tyler Joseph and Josh Dunn. Uh, for the last 24 hours, I've been encouraging fans to vote uh, which one they prefer, in a way. And uh, whoever lost uh, was going to get the other guy's name tattooed on their body. Uh, like 200,000 plus votes were cast on Twitter, and it ended up in a tie. So tonight, uh, near the end of the show, both members got tattooed in front of the crowd. The crowd spontaneously broke out into Bohemian Rhapsody and built me a buttercup. It was just a really crazy moment, and Tyler Joseph, the front man, was saying this is a moment that they'll remember the rest of their lives. And this show's a show that fans are going to remember the rest of their lives. Uh, Twain Pilots puts on just an incredible, incredible, really unique live show. Uh, for instance, at one point, uh, they had Lane Boy, a song that kind of started as a reggae jam, and it turned into this like really intense like EDM blast. Uh, at the very end for Trees, both men got on platforms and played drums while they're being hovered over the crowd as confetti showered down. Uh, Tyler Joseph, for car radio near the end, climbed a 15-foot tower, uh, kind of right in front of me here on the balcony, uh, and sang the end of car radio there. Uh, during Ride, uh, Josh Dunn did a, had a full drum kit on top of the crowd as he was drumming. I mean, it was just a really Really crazy wild show and the crowd was just singing at the top of their lungs for every song every verse uh, it's just a, a really intense show from a really intense band a band that keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger three years ago they played the rave bar for like 25 people 50 people and they sold out this place Eagles Ballroom and chances are they're now too big to play this room you're gonna be seeing them in the Bradley Center or the Marcus Amphitheater someday probably someday soon uh, for the full review and photos go to jsonline.com slash music and uh, set list there as well. And for more on concerts happening in the city, go to uh, my newsletter, Kelly's Music Picks. Subscribe at jsonline.com/newsletters. Thanks a lot.